Hello, welcome to the first edition of Smashing Through the Matrix. I'm here with Lee. Hello, Lee. Say hello, Lee. Hello, everyone. And what we're going to do is um, discuss why we're doing it, what it's about, where we aim to go, and um, the project in general. So for a brief introduction, we're starting this because I think we're just like starting to see that um, everything's not quite as it, as it seems we're being lied to on a massive scale. Society is being changed uh, against our wills. We're being manipulated from pillar to post, basically, and we've just had enough. So, you know, what we're trying to do is start a radio show, hopefully soon, if um, things go according to plan. But it's not just about a radio show. Anyone can get involved. Um, we're trying to get, you know, artists, um musicians, whoever, uh, anybody that wants to be on the show in the future can do and what we want is to break down or smash this imposed matrix. So I want to try and uncover, especially with Lee, um, we're trying to uncover the roots of the alphabet, um, the use in, uh, of words, what they mean, how the, the, the you know secret societies have pulled the plug over our eyes. Um, and basically just get a grasp of it. If we can get a grasp of it, like the saying goes, know thy enemy, hopefully we can do something about it. And if we can't do anything about it, at least we know the enemy. So <laughs> you know how to protect yourself or defend yourself against what's to come, basically. So in future, I want to try and cover uh, what's going on in the media, how the media tries to get inside your brain psychologically, especially how they manipulate... Um, people against the will and direct them into certain angles. Not just that, we want to cover again, like I said with Lee, with the numbers. It is a numbers game. Um, and many other facets to how this shit goes down. Anything to add to that, Lee? No, not really, but it's just behind people in the matrix, you know. So it should be good though. So what's your project, Lee? Uh, Lee's got a separate project and a website starting up, so we're going to try and cover that as much as possible. What's that all about, mate? Like you said before, but the numbers game. All of people's minds. Yeah, and you're getting that in the pipeline. You've got that st like started, haven't you? Uh, it might seem a bit... I don't know, but I don't know what the word is like. All higgledy-piggledy, but it's all... It all has a... Um, a pattern. Like a... Like a, a constant... Yeah. Like it's, it's always it's all really all religious. Like. Well, everyone's got to start somewhere, haven't they? So oh. you can't just um, pick up a, a, a you know like for an example, pick up a, a an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty controller and be an expert at, at Halo within a, an hour. But you've got to start from somewhere. The basics. And um, as are you going to provide a, a, a way of showing people? How it's put together? Yeah, um, well, the people at home could just get the pen and paper. Mm -hmm. a pen and sheet of paper, and then start from there. You know. Yeah. Because what needs to be what needs to be done first is um, the hash, the hash thing. People need to learn that and what it is and what its characteristics are. So then you get like a numerical value out of it. Yeah. So we're going to cover quite a lot of Lee's work, and obviously I'm going to give you plenty of advertisement, mate. But you're also going to work on my project, yeah? Aye. So I'll have Lee as a regular guest. I'm also trying, or putting the feelers out there on YouTube, if you want to come on in the future, and especially if you want to talk about all the hoaxing that's going down, I'll be more than welcome to get anybody on. So. As long as you've got an idea of how this stuff's put together and you're coherent, I think we can work something out. Um, not just that aspect, there's many aspects that's like a multi-fucking tentacled octopus, so pharmaceutical um, signs to it, if people have got experience through, I don't know, especially I know you have Lee, you've got um, bad experiences through the uh, medical establishment. But we're going to try and put the feelers out on that. If anyone's got any bad experiences or knows some information about Big Pharma or 
the 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 use of GMOs, which are basically um, absolutely, you know, destroying the human body. I think it's not like a, a an instant thing. It's a long term plan. It's a soft kill, isn't it? It's going to be spread across a few generations. Um, not to mention the the chemtrails, the fluoride, all that kind of stuff. Um, any experiences you got with politics or um, the religious sides? Uh, any experiences with with politicians or the bad ones, the bad eggs? You know, there's a lot of um, suspect characters going on in there, especially with the nonsense thing and the, you know all the satanic ritual based stuff. Um, that should get covered. Um, yeah, just basically another thing is I want to try and expose as many shills as possible. We're trying to um, get them exposed because they are a threat to these, this movement, whatever you want to call it, and there's plenty of them. So any experiences with them or any experiences with media, and as I said, I'm going to cover that quite a lot, hopefully. Uh, but it's a, it's a new project, it's starting off, it's not going to work straight away, so... Um, we're going to see how it goes. It's not right, Lee. <laughs> it's quite early in the morning, Lee's still half asleep. <laughs> Have you had a joint yet, Lee? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's been a week since five. Uh, well, same here. I think uh, four was my uh, oh, wake you're up. Used, you're used to it, though. Yeah, uh, I don't sleep much. I'm always trying to think of things to do, I mean, or cover, or, you know, stuff like that. So I've got, like, my name sorted, um, and from now on, if I'm going to put a YouTube video up, I'm going to call it Smashing the Matrix, and then do some work around it like that. So I think I'll set up a separate YouTube account just for that, and then uh, Facebook and all that bullshit. Uh, which is obviously monitored, but fuck them. <laughs> I don't think you should be intimidated by the fear. Because um, that's, again, another demon on the back, isn't it? And I think that's exactly how they want us to be um, conditioned and programmed through the fear. Fear of speaking out, isn't it? So, I think the best thing, you're going to die anyway. So, you might as well die on your feet. <laughs> yeah, on your knees. Yeah, how do you want it? On your feet or on your knees? So, uh, yeah, we'll get this ball rolling, eh? Uh, so, I'm looking forward to it. How about you, Lee? Yeah, the, um, hope we get that little fear of falling and push the negative back. Hopefully. I mean, there is a lot of people awakening, especially over in Ireland, so... Stuff's going on, and people are. I mean, it's like they're pushing for an awakening, or I don't think. I think they're too fucking um, arrogant about themselves, and they're pushing new laws, legislations, and all that, um, and thinking they're going to get away with it. But consequently, because they keep putting more fascism into the mix with the the, the new world order, return of Saturn, fucking shit, because they keep pushing for this, you know, this, you know, the backlash is occurring, and people are starting to wake up and. Um, I wouldn't be here if I didn't wake up to it quite a long time ago. I'm a bit older than the new people, but that's you know that's what we're trying to attract. I mean, for instance, a lot of people woke up with the the hoax kind of stuff, the stories and stuff. You had your, your you know like your Boston stuff and your the Sandy hoax, Sandy Hook stuff, and that has done a massive thing for a new generation because they're starting to see through all the bullshit, you know. So that's um, a great thing to see. And, um, hopefully, may it may long it continue. Basically, um, how did you wake up, Lee? Oh, <laughs> it was a, a long drawn out process. Um, how long was it? From the age of seven till about thirty-two, and I and I know their masonic numbers and that was. It's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, all did you was you the same as me that kept putting me because um, I got a school report here and it says John is extremely intelligent but he daydreams it's like he's not paying attention I think 
it, I wasn't paying attention for a, a specific reason, and that reason was it was all bullshit. And subconsciously, I knew school doesn't teach anything. Yeah, and you know, like the people, the bad ones that they kick out of the the class, they're generally, you know, the ones that can see through the shit. Oh, so, against authority. Yeah. Well, what is authority? Not, it's, not, it's, not that there are authority. It's the illusion of authority. Yeah, well, it's just a stage, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Or uniforms and costumes and... Role play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the world's a stage, as Shakespeare said, isn't it? Yeah. So... Like mm. So, the problem is... Is people take the play too seriously, and that's why they get too deeply ingrained into it, and that's why we're trying to smash the matrix and get a hold of them and say, "Hey, man, you know, return to nature, return to yourself." Yeah. Yeah. Um, Clear the mind. Absolutely. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, nowadays everyone's got noise in front of them. It's a TV or uh, so loud music. Noise, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they don't take time to sit in a a quiet environment with the lights off in the dark, contemplate, think, what the hell's going on here? Who am I? What's going on? Where am I going? What's my life about? Mm. So that's what we're trying try to instill back to the people to get them outside of that noise. Well, it's what we, it's what we can. It's what we don't need to try. We can do, but that, it's, it's it's got to be a effort by. People, not by just a, a couple of people, and you just sit back and go, oh, get them and handle it, them will do it. I'll just stay here and whatever. I'll not get involved, but let them handle it. Yeah. But everyone needs to get everyone needs to get involved, but everyone's got to have the same sort of mentality, like a one way of thinking, like like the people in the hierarchy, the people up above. Yeah, they're all one. They have a certain way of thinking. For sure. Ritualistic. Yeah, because they're all in the same club. That's that's ritualistic. This yeah. Is, this is the opposite. This is. Well, that's why they're winning, isn't it? Because they're all oh. one in the one goal for the one world and fucking they, order. And like people, you can like read people, and people will act a certain way. Mm -hmm. it, like an action get like an action gets a reaction, and they know how to push the buttons to get a certain reaction, and yeah. then they can do what they want to. Yeah. Mental manipulation, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's not. It's not like um, the game's over at all, is it? No, but we're at the back end of it, and something needs to be done there. Oh, absolutely, there's no denying it's, that. It's, it's, it's slowly but surely like creeping in, and squashing down on you, like the room closing in. Yeah. The ceiling closing in on you. It's like it's. Something needs to be done. Turning the screw. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, stuff, for, for stuff I've had, for, like I've had for like six, seven years now. Six, seven years. Nobody's really looked into it or took it, like except one person. And I always get like, um, like thanked and all of them. All yeah. the time, he, like you can. He doesn't acknowledge a situation. He like he, he feels it, so he feels people. And he's like met with like loads of minds all the time, and like minds constantly like arguing against him a lot. But he's like had patience and spoke them slowly, and the view them differently now. With the, instead of like on face value because if someone looks like an idiot, you, you like. People treat them like an idiot, don't they? Just because you're not like magazine, lovely, perfect, David Beckham looking thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's that's what that's what the that's what the TV does. The, the films and that. It's like um, if you look at like Disney, like they'll put the the sidekick as like a proper short and fat and like goofy looks. And then you've got like the hero who's like big and strong and good looking and long hair and all that carry on. It's usually right anyway, in uh, Disney. Yeah. And that to puts it in the mind of people, puts it in the minds of people that uh, like, oh, like right, he's above you. Mm. Just because just they know their lineage. 
You look up, they look down. Yeah.